Hi, this is Chuck with Zipline, and today we're going to show you how to cut down your poles, maybe if you want to customize them a little bit shorter. First, what you want to do is get a pot of boiling water. You can do it on your kitchen stove, or here at the office, we use a simple hot plate. You want to take your poles and just simply put them in the water. So once you put them in the water, be sure the water level is above where the grips end. So you want to have the water above it so the the water and the heat can get down in between the shaft of the pole and the grip. Okay, so after your poles have been boiling on your stove or on your hot plate, uh, you want to get some rubber gloves. We have some work gloves, but you can use a kitchen rubber glove if you need to. Um, this is the 16.0 podium uh, with this uh, all white grip. And you're going to need to grab it and do a little bit of muscle here, back and forth, back and forth until it finally comes off. Now this is the Podium 14.0 with our newer the white and black grip and I will tell you this one is harder to get off so get those muscles going and you work it back and forth and back and forth and then eventually it will also come off. So that's it, that's got the grips off. All right, so if you're gonna cut down a pole, the most important thing is to lay the poles out on a table to get the proper measurement. And it's important that you line them up from the tip. So line up the ferrule here at the bottom where the tip is. Make sure they're lined up. And then, for example, in this skier, we're gonna cut two centimeters off his poles. So we're gonna line up centimeters here and we're gonna take a Sharpie, and just make a little mark there, a little mark there, okay? So that's his two centimeters. So we have a simple hacksaw here, just got it at Home Depot. You're gonna hold the poles and you're gonna line them up here and just start to, you gotta do it handcrafted. You're gonna just start to cut back and forth and continue until you cut all the way through it. At the office, we use a chop saw, Home Depot special. Simple, it's a concrete blade. And in this case, what we do at the office is, we line them up exactly as we did before, making sure they're both parallel. Hold them tightly, line them up here, and then we would cut right through them very quickly. Okay, so we've got our five minute epoxy. We've already mixed it. Just gonna put a little on the end here. You don't need a ton of it because as you'll see, it kind of oozes out. On the podium 14, US Ski Team logos on the front and we line up the, the grip on the front here. And we sort of get it on here and just sort of slowly push it down. See, this was a 112. Taking it down to 110 for this skier. And line it up there. You want to give it uh, the little glue came out. Just take a little paper towel, wipe it around. We give it a tap to the ground. And then the key is to take the two poles and line them up from the grip and see how well a job you did. And as you can see here, these are pretty much the same height. This one, we're just gonna give a little tap at the bottom, and now they're lined up perfectly. So this is Zipline telling you how to cut down a pole and make it a little bit shorter and put on a grip. So check us out at ziplineski.com.